Hey everybody, what's up? How you guys doing? I'm so, so excited to share with you my hits and misses for the month of April. I have so many hits and I'm so excited to share them with you. Like I can, if you can't tell in the tone of my voice, like, oh, I, let me just tell you first thing. Okay, first thing is this Maybelline Color Elixir. This is from the new Bleach Neons collection, which I have a whole video about. You can check that out. I'll link it down below. I talk about everything that I picked up from the collection and I love the Maybelline color elixirs you guys if you've been following me for a while know this I think they're great because they're kind of like a multi-purpose product they have a nice shine to them I'm wearing this shade on my lips right now it's called glowing garnet um, I like the shine factor so that's kind of like the glossiness about it which is great these feel like a bomb though so that's another reason why I love it they have such hydration they're non sticky and they're nicely pigmented like a lipstick so it's kind of like a three-in-one product and sorry the lights changing it's very cloudy out here in SoCal today um, it's been raining and like it's been hot the next day it's it's gross right now anyway I have two more lip products to share with you and they're both from pixie pixie is a British makeup brand you can get it at Target. That's where I got these. I hauled them not too long ago and this is their Shea Butter Lip Balm in the shade Ripe Raspberry. Let me tell you guys, this smells like sugar. It's not too much, not too strong and it's just like a regular kind of chapstick lip balm. You know, it's super low maintenance, very easy to go, like just on the go. I like to wear this to work. That's what I've been doing and I really like the pixie packaging. I mean, can we just appreciate how cute that is? It smells so good. I have to take the time to stop and smell it every time I open it. But also, I really love the pigmentation. I mean, just check this out. I'll swatch it for you right here. Um, that's just two swipes, and it's just really pretty. And it's just really light and pretty. It reminds me of, like, a fancy Maybelline baby lip because I feel like this is a lot more hydrating than those. So if you like baby lips for the color, definitely check out this line of lip balms by Pixi because I have a feeling you'll really like it. It's just so moisturizing, and they have a lot of beautiful shades to choose from. I think there's about five. I wish there were more because I'm going to go back and get the other ones. This one's my favorite so far, though. Then I also have this product, which is another balm from Pixi. See, it's in kind of like a chubby lip pencil type form. It's called their Tinted Brilliance Balm. And it looks really messy because I have been using this every day. I gotta clean it. But I mean like, <laughs> I got like a chunk taken out of it and everything. This is in the shade Radiant Rose. And I just love this color. They also have like five or six of these. And they are they smell like mint. They remind me of um, the Tarte Lip Surgeons Lip Pencils. Definitely check these out if you like light um, kind of hydrating lip balms. Because this will just, it looks so beautiful too. I've been wearing it in a lot of my past videos. And you guys have been saying, what is that? What is that? And this is what it is right here, girl. So go get you some. It's awesome. I love this. It's very pigmented, but it's not its not too glossy. I mean, it is more of a balm texture. It's thicker than this balm right here from Pixi. So if you want a little more something something, like definitely check this balm out. But they're both great balms to have. And I do want to do full reviews on both of these products soon because they so deserve it. My next hit is the Alme Get Up and Grow Mascara. I've been using this every day this month because I am so amazed with how it makes my lashes look. I'm wearing it right now. I have never tried a mascara that has thickened my lashes as much as this. And I love that it's only like $7. I mean, at Target, Walmart, anywhere that sells Alme, such a good deal. And the brush is really, I think, what does it. It's a nice and thick brush, traditional bristle wand, and um, it has a ton of bristles on it. That's what's going to grab your lashes. It lifts them up. It gives them kind of a natural look at first, but you can build it to get it pretty dramatic because that's what I, I like to do. I like to build up my mascara and wear it pretty thick, pretty heavy sometimes. And because I have naturally blonde lashes, so when I don't wear mascara, it looks like I don't even have lashes. So I like me some mascara, and this is a great one, especially for thickness, length, and volume. My next hits are eyeliners. I'm also wearing these today. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Liner, and I think this is only like $3. I bought it like 40% off because uh, Wet n Wild was on sale not too long ago at like CVS or something. And I'm wearing this on my top line today, my upper lash line. And let let me tell you it's so matte and black I used um, a different liner for the wing um, but I really I just use this for my straight line on my lid and I love this the brush is nice and thin It's made of individual
individual hairs, but they haven't split or anything on me, and I've had this for a good two weeks now. The formula is not thin. It does not run. It's just going to dry nicely, but once it dries, it doesn't flake, and um, that's the problem I have with a lot of liquid liners, but this one hasn't flaked. It doesn't give me like a scaly alligator eyelid or anything. It's super black, and it dries matte. I love matte eyeliner. You guys know that. I'm not really a shiny liner person. It doesn't bother me, but when I want, you know, I want a matte liner. That's basically like my preference and um, this gives it to me for three dollars so hey I mean who doesn't want to try that right and I'll show you how pigmented it is I mean just look at that and you can get a thicker line too if you like press harder or a thin line you know this brush is it gives you nice control which is great so there's that and then my other liner is from Rimmel and it's the Scandalize Waterproof Coal Codule Pencil I have a few of these but I never talked about them on my channel and a lot of you have been suggesting these to me and I want to tell you I have these and I love them so that's why I wanted to throw this one in because I've actually been wearing this a lot this month. This is the shade Taupe. It's my favorite one that they make because it's a matte brown, but it's kind of like a minky kind of cool tone brown. This reminds me of like Tease from Urban Decay, but in an eyeliner. And that's why I love it so much because it's matte, it's brown, it's cool tone. It has, you know, it just has a really beautiful color. I'm wearing it on my bottom lash line right here. And I just like to kind of focus it on the outer corners and smudge it out a little bit. I think it's absolutely stunning stunning and it will look so it just adds that little extra finished touch to your eyeliner so definitely check these out they're really creamy and just budge proof my next hit is also from Rimmel and it's their stay matte press powder as you can see I've hit pan this is their lightest shade called transparent and I've mentioned this in a few of my recent videos I think I recently talked about it in my drugstore face powder collection video this is one of the ones I liked and it is a little bit kind of yellow toned but I like to mix it with another face powder and my NYC smooth skin just use this for my t-zone and it's a really great powder for that it's great for controlling oil it will last you all day long I never get any like cakiness or anything with this I could put it on right after I applied foundation and it won't cake up so that's why I really like this powder and it does control oil very nicely my last hits are also from Maybelline and they are these little blush sticks this one's actually a bronzer stick but it has so much shimmer in it that I kind of like to use it as a champagne tone highlighter this is in the shade subtle bronze and they have a few deeper shades right now this, these are also part of the bleach neons collection that just came out limited edition so if you want to get these colors you got to go find them now I know it's inconvenient but these shades are really pretty so let me show you what it looks like it's just such a pretty kind of like champagne bronzy shade and like I said these are very shimmery so I wouldn't necessarily use this to contour but just as like a highlight this would be so beautiful on a lot of skin tones I love this color I think it's fabulous just look at it in the stick it's like oh it's so stunning and my other one I have is called enchanting apricot and that's as pigmented as it gets I mean these are kind of like a one swipe type deal because you know especially when you're putting it on your cheeks you're gonna be blending it out anyway these blend out effortlessly by the way the formula is thin but it's still really pigmented and you can blend these out with your fingers and be good like these are so awesome I have a lot of the original shades as well and I love it when they come out with these limited edition ones because they're so pretty I mean just look at that it does have shimmer in it as well but not as much as the bronzy shade right here so that's it for the hits and now I'm gonna get on with the misses and there are only a few of these just because you know I don't really have I didn't have that many things this month that I didn't like from what I hauled and what I tried so that's a good thing and I'm happy about it and and let me just get into it. First one is the Revlon Super Luscious Lip Gloss from the Spider-Man collection in the shade Electro Shock. Now, this just isn't what I was expecting it to be, so that's why it's a miss for me. I know I could still work with it. I know I could put, like, a black lipstick and put this over it and make the glitter show up. But I don't want to work with it because... I just like products that are already pigmented and the glitter in here just kind of disappears like it does not look like this cool blue in the tube let me show you what it looks like actually so here's what it looks like once it's on your skin and it's really hard to even see the glitter and that was just so disappointing because you know I really wanted it to show up blue I had a feeling it wasn't so that's what it looks like in the tube right here and that's the actual swatch of it it's basically a clear gloss with kind of a bluish grayish tone and the glitters don't really show up at all I mean in here it looks like it's 
it's going to be stunningly pearly shimmery but the glitter just kind of disappears and I did swatch it over a black lipstick to see what it would look like still the glitter doesn't even look that great so in my opinion I don't think this is worth it it was like seven dollars and um, I do think the packaging is cool but I'm not going to keep it for that you know it's just not worth it next product is from Clinique and it is their even better makeup with SPF 15 now I took a picture of this on Instagram from my recent Sephora haul I haven't showed you guys the haul yet it's a small one but anyway I picked up this foundation because on the website from Sephora they have like a color thing you could pick by shade and this looked very light and it was only $25 which is kind of a good you know it wasn't like a $40 makeup forever I thought I'd try something new and you know it just showed up so at least five shades darker than the website looked and I was so disappointed when I swatched it because I, there's no point of even putting it on. I mean, I did swatch it on my face, but it was it was just way too dark. So and there's no way I could ever wear this. And I'll swatch it for you just so you can see what it looks like. But I mean, this shade, they made it look like paper white on the website. And here's what it looks like. And, you know, against my skin, it might not look that, you know, dark on camera. But in person, it's just like at least five shades darker than my skin tone and that's on my wrist which is a lot darker than my face because my face and my neck is even wider than my arms so it's just like you know what I mean like it just really upset me that their foundation swatch was so off so definitely try to avoid buying foundation on Sephora's website go in person that's my best advice to you my next miss is this Maybelline Master Bronze by Face Studio Matte Bronzing Powder and this is their lightest shade weekend bronze now this was also a part of the Bleach Neons collection, but I'm not sure if they're going to keep these permanently in their line or not. Personally, um, the formula isn't that silky. I mean, I don't know. It's it's okay. It's not bad, but it's not great either. I mean, it's nothing near a Too Faced bronzer. And, um, you know, it's not bad though. I mean, it's not dry or hard or anything. Like, um, I've tried the Maybelline Fit Me bronzer, which the color was nice, but it was all hard in texture. And this is not hard like the Fit Me's, um, but the shade was just too dark for me. So personally, like, this was just another product that personally didn't work out for me. Um, I did swatch this in the video. And you can see in that video that it's just, you know, it's just way too dark. Even for a bronzer, even though it's matte, I just can't get away with it because the tone is also very, very kind of like yellowy undertone. So it just... You know, it just doesn't work with my cool toned skin. The next miss is from Pixi, and this is their um, eye brightening eyeliner. It's kind of like a tan nude shade, which is supposed to go in your waterline. I'll try to show you and demonstrate why I don't like this. Um, you know, here's what it looks like on my, oh, the tip just broke. Oh my gosh, how lame. It's kind of dry, so there you go. You saw it firsthand, the tip broke off. But anyway, here's what it looks like on my hand. It's just kind of like the thing is hard. Like the pencil is a little bit hard, I don't like it. And um, it's just hard to come off in your waterline. Like, I'm not wearing anything right now, so you can't really see it. I mean, you can't even really see it once you put it on. It's just not... I mean, you're not really supposed to see it. It's supposed to match your skin tone, but I just feel like it doesn't really brighten. The texture on this was just a little too dry for me. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. I would definitely recommend, you know, something drugstore like the NYX Wonder Pencil is my favorite that I've ever used. I also have another Pixie product that I didn't like. This isn't terrible. I mean, I could work with it, like I said, but it's just not that great. Like, these pencils were also kind of dry and kind of hard. And this is the same concept. It's called their Pixie um, Wide Awake pencil and one side is for brightening it's like a matte shade and then the other side is for lightening it says lighten but really it's just like a cream shadow and um, it's a wooden pencil that you have to sharpen and here's the champagne side it's not even that pigmented I you can't even see it like that's how dry it is I'm trying to swatch the heck out of it but it's just not showing up and it's because the texture is so dry I was just like really the lip products were great but these were a no the pencils were a no so that's everything for my hits and misses for the month of April and um, please feel free to comment down below and let me know your thoughts on these products if you have any questions I know I went through this kind of quickly but I find that sometimes I tend to ramble in these videos so I kind of wanted to you know speed through it this month and maybe I don't know maybe I went too fast but um, I just 
just wanted to get this video out because I am really excited and I do want to let you guys know about these products because some of them are limited edition like these Maybelline products, you know, so I want you guys to know about them now and the hits are products that I really do love and you probably will see some of them in my April favorites videos because if I like them a lot, I will put them in a favorites video and talk about them again just to let you guys know again that I really like the product. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you've been trying lately. You know, I love to hear suggestions, anything like that. Let me know what you haven't liked also because that's another thing I think is important in the makeup world. I think that misses, you know, are good to know about. So definitely let me know what you guys have been up to and as always, thank you so much for watching.